All right, I'm still trying to record this one. This is like the fourth time I've done it, guys. You just don't know that. The least common denominator is x plus 4. We're going to we're going to multiply each term by x plus 4, and hopefully this time we'll get to the end of this video and I'll be able to go to the next slide. Okay, so every term I'm going to multiply by x plus 4. Now, ultimately, it would be written like this, x plus 4 over x plus 4, and you're just, but I like to write it next to each item, okay? I like to write it next to each item because then I know, ooh, i got to multiply everything by that. Now here, the x plus 4s will cancel. So all you really have left is you got a 2, and then 2 times x plus 4. So that 2 times x plus 4, I'm going to have 2x plus 8, and then that's going to be over 1 times x plus 4, which is just x plus 4, and then we're left with plus 3. Then you just combine your like terms, so we're going to have 2x plus 10 over x plus 7, and that would be your final answer. Okay, the next slide. Ooh, it let me go to the next slide. <laughs> this one was not on the notes page because I was like, if I could get through slide number 12 or whatever, then we don't really need to do this. But I figured since I was making another video, I might as well. So your least common denominator, we've got an x, we've got x plus 1, and we've got x minus 1. So your least common denominator is going to consist of those three things. So you're going to have x, x plus 1 and x minus 1. That's another x plus 1. I don't need to write it twice. Let me erase these circles. Now, this is fun. And by fun, I mean ugh. But anywho, <laughs> you're going to multiply. You're ultimately multiplying the top and the bottom by this least common denominator. But again, I like to write it by each term I'm going to multiply. Okay, so I'm going to say x times x plus 1, x minus 1, x times x plus 1, x minus 1, x times x plus 1, x minus 1, and x times x plus 1, oops, x minus 1. Okay, so I write it, and I'd write it on the board the same way. And now I'm just going to start canceling. So I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to cancel. So this x will cancel with this x. This x plus 1 will cancel with x plus 1. This x plus 1 will cancel with x plus 1. x minus 1 will cancel with x minus 1. Ooh, I like that color. So now, ooh, we've got a lot of fun to multiply here. We're left with up here x plus 1, x minus 1 times x minus 2. x plus 1, x minus 1 times x minus 2. And that's going to be minus 2 times x times x minus 1. All that's going to be over 3 times x times x plus 1 minus 1, I'm not going to write a 1, times x, times x minus 1. Oh, snap, don't you start this on me now. And then what you would need to do is to simplify from there. Ooh, my computer is freezing. Super fun.